Jesus is vegan now and God is too. If you want to get to heaven, you better be vegan too. Fuck milk, cheese, eggs, or any kind of meat. Buy broccoli, tofu, and vegan food to eat. God wants us to be kind to the animals, or it's true. You risk getting roasted on the devil's barbecue. Oh, God. Hello, students. Well, today I am outside another church, and this time it is a Baptist church, and it is... Uh, Sunday morning I'm gonna go to the service and I'm gonna see if I can find some real Christians here I mean that's people who actually think that we should be kind and we shouldn't murder as opposed to the many hypocrites who I see in so many other churches so we're gonna see if there are people in here who are vegan who believe in the commandments that we shouldn't kill or if they try to twist their words around you know, wiggle out of it like so many religious people do. So I'm gonna go to the entire service. I'm gonna sing when it's time to sing. I'm gonna stand when it's time to stand. I'm gonna participate with an open heart. And hopefully we are gonna find some people who are kind and who are vegan here. Ready? Let's go. The first thing I did is stop by the bulletin board and started reading about all the wonderful stuff that they're doing. Addressing hunger in Montreal. That sounds good. Bringing joy and dignity through food security initiatives. That sounds good. Until I looked closely and noticed my first dead body. There it was, right on the plate. An innocent animal who died begging for their life. And this is how they're going to help the homeless, the people who are poor, they're going to feed them the ingredients of a cemetery, of a morgue. This is supposedly how they're going to be kind to them. Jesus Christ. Since the last church I went to, a Catholic one, had no Bibles at all anywhere. I searched around and found there was a shelf in the entranceway around where you hang the coats. And there were Bibles there. So I just took one along with me to kind of look through while I was inside. Who knows? Maybe there's some wisdom in here that I missed in the past. Oh, okay. So far, so good. Some nice singing. But where the heck is everybody? Well, at least there's no dead guy named Jesus strapped to the wall with nails shoved through him. It's better than the Catholic church I was at last time. And the foam and the mountains quake with their surging. There is a river whose streams make glad the city of God, a holy place where the Most High dwells. God is within her. She will not fall. God will help her at break of day. Nations are in uproar, kingdoms fall. He lifts his voice and the earth melts. The Lord Almighty is with us. The God of Jacob is our fortress. Come and see what the Lord has done, the desolations he has brought on the earth. He makes wars cease <coughs> to the ends of the earth. He breaks the bow and shatters the spear. He burns a shield with fire. He says, be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. The Lord Almighty is with us. The God of Jacob is our fortress. I decided I needed a bathroom break. And on my way, I noticed this. The kitchen. Hmm. Interesting. I wonder what's in here. Should I check? 
Do you think there's any dead bodies in here? It's kind of creepy down here all by myself. But anyway, let's see. Oranges, they're vegan. Uh-oh. Stolen cow's milk, taken away after a mother was raped and her baby kidnapped. And she was used as a milk machine. So I guess Baptists are okay with sexual assault, forcing mothers to be pregnant, stealing their babies, slitting the baby's throats, and enslaving females. Good to know. But hey, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe the devil snuck in here and planted these. Let's keep looking. Tostito sauce. No, that's got dairy in it as well. Oh, this is terrible. Stolen cow secretions, fat, salt. That's what they feed their parishioners here. No, also dairy in these. Why would somebody put the empty package back in there? Wait, what's this? Mayo made with stolen eggs? Do Baptists not understand what goes on in the egg industry? Has God never updated the Bible to let them know about the horrors, the concentration camps that humans have down here, where they breed them into existence to be so big that they can barely stand up and can't even support their own weight, that chickens are murdered at just seven weeks old by the billions? Do they not know that we have forced chickens into existence by breeding them so much so that there are twice as many chickens on the planet as there are humans? Does God never show them through one of the PowerPoint slides what the fuck is going on? Do these people not have a clue? I'm going to see if I can find somebody and tell them to show this at the next sermon. The egg industry is just a cycle of misery. They lie to you endlessly. Don't buy eggs. Walk away. Go to egg-truth.com today. I looked some more, and what a disappointment these Baptists were. Cottage cheese, again, the dairy industry, the cycle of extreme violence. Nobody should be eating any dairy products. No cottage cheese, no ice cream, no milk, no yogurt, none of it. Every church, every place of worship should have a rule. When you walk into the doors, no dead animals. No stolen body parts. Love. Compassion. That's what should be here. No quiche made with eggs and milk. Disgusting. So disappointing. And look at that. They even had to label it with a pen in case their own parishioners were to steal this. Are there so many thieves in here? that they need to put a lock on the fridge to preserve the dead bodies, like a fridge with corpses in a hospital basement. And look at this. The one on the left contains three different kinds of cheeses. Fantastic. And the crowning jewel, the actual flesh of a six-month-old baby pig who was murdered in a gas chamber so innocent, pleading for his or her life, terrified, seeing their friends die before them, hearing the screams of all of their brothers and sisters, and only to end up being chopped up and shoved into plastic and devoured by gluttonous parishioners who claim to try to be good people. I went back into the church with my Bible in hand and tried really hard for the rest of the service to connect with these neighbors of mine.
When the service was over, a church lady approached to try to recruit me to do a reading at the next meeting. However, she quickly tried to wiggle away when I started asking about the animal exploitation going on at potlucks and coffee hour. And actually feeling the strength to get through. Yeah. So, you know. Okay. Do you, um, do you uh, also believe in the Ten Commandments? Like, do they make sense to you? Yeah, of course. Yeah. But, uh, since Jesus came, the new uh, commandments are uh, uh, love God, with all your heart, mind, soul, and strength, and your neighbor as yourself. But, like, the so, Ten Commandments that include, for example, thou shalt not kill. Right. Right? You believe yeah. in that? Yeah. Uh, so I'm just wondering, because I've been, like, looking around at different churches and trying to sort of understand um, why it is that so many church going people who say they don't believe in killing. Mm -hmm still pay for the murder when it comes to the animals. Right. Yeah. Because, you know, there's there's although, no there's although, no need there's no need to eat animals. We've proven it. You know, there's athletes in the Olympics. That is true. So but, there's no need to. So but why God would... was the first one that killed animals to clothe So why do you think that it says thou shalt not kill? Like how does that apply to now? Like we, everyone here in this church lives close to the grocery store, right? Yeah. So when you're having, let's say, barbecues or things like right. that, have you considered having them like, entirely vegan? Like, you know, lentils, for me personally, I, For me personally, I don't feel that there's anything that I've read biblically that makes me translate, thou shalt not kill. That in, in that particular instance, I think God is referring to, to people because he had animal sacrifice. What? Right? Well, I mean, but all now, through the Old but, Testament. So do you think, okay, sorry, what? what's your first name? Valerie. Valerie. Yeah. Valerie. Valerie. Okay. 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 Yeah. So if you, if let's say Jesus was sitting here right, right. now, yep. listening to our conversation, right? right. And I said, um, I said, Valerie um, yeah. is, is saying that. When there's potlucks and when there's coffee hour, that you think it's okay to have you know, cow milk, even though we know the baby cows were killed. I don't know if you know that in the dairy industry, but they take away the baby boys and they kill them so that humans can steal the milk, right? And of course, so if Jesus was sitting here right now, do you think that Jesus would say, um, you know, Katie has a good point, and why not serve? only plant food or do you think that Jesus would say no who cares about the animals let's no. kill them anyway no I think that the as I understand hi it, I'm Audrey hi you were saying I'm sorry. I'm sorry. 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 sorry so this is where the conversation gets difficult so this is what typically happens religious people are no different than the average person they're no kinder or more compassionate. The last church I went to, a Catholic one, it was the same thing. Even just touching on the reality that the people here are paying for animal abuse, which means that they too are animal abusers, shakes them to the core so much so that they start to wiggle, avoid eye contact, and try anything possible to get out of the conversation. Being the eternal optimist that I am, I decided to wait around, a little awkwardly. But I thought to myself, who knows? Maybe God will shoot a little lightning bolt into her heart and wake her up. And she'll turn around towards me and say, Hey Katie, let's talk about this some more. Maybe you have some good points. Maybe I'll talk to the people on the finance committee and we'll try to get some vegan options in here. Maybe she'll say, you know, come to think of it, the last time I looked in the fridge, it was filled with dead body parts. Maybe that's what she'll say. But she didn't. And so I quickly realized I'd better just walk away and call it a day. There you have it. Another church with dead animals inside, corpses, hypocrites. Um, at least this one had Bibles, but they were on a shelf. They weren't in the actual place where you pray. And, um, you know, the one person that I spoke to 
said that she somehow thought that it was okay to kill animals, although at the end, she did acknowledge that if Jesus was sitting there, he would not think that it would be okay to just randomly kill. But interestingly enough, she quickly escaped the conversation as soon as she saw somebody there that, she, that could save her from me. So that's it for today. If you guys go to church, let me know what you think. Let me know if you found any kind people in church, any people who are um, following some sort of moral consistency. Thanks for being here. I'll see you all at the next church or the next video. I'm also going to be, by the way, going to synagogues if I can and temples. And if you have a place that you think I should go and visit, let me know in the comments below. Bye for now. Let's follow that vegan teacher on YouTube right now. Let's help her save every chicken, pig, and cow. Let's follow that vegan teacher.